So I had promised a video about the paper you're going to be writing this quarter. I made mention of it during the syllabus video. I don't think I talked about it in the welcome video. Uh, so this is the official, official video because this week you need to turn in your overview assignment which is about the paper. So I figured I need to go ahead and get this video knocked out. <coughs> anyway, currently we are in a pandemic. I am assuming you already know this because, you know, you're alive and you're attending school and everything is different. Everything is probably going to continue getting different for the next few months because we currently have the more contagious strand out there and it has already been found in Georgia. We're one of the states that has it and they predict that it's gonna be like psh, off the charts by March, which will be right when we're wrapping things up. So what I've been making my various classes do for environmental science, because pandemics are part of environmental science, um, I'm making you do a paper. Since GMC likes making you do papers anyway, hey, it works out. We've got the critical thinking, we've got the writing across the curriculum, and we have environmental science. So that's what I'm doing. Now, you're going to be collecting information about the coronavirus and COVID. There is a difference between the two. They are connected, but they are not exactly the same. Kind of like HIV and AIDS are connected, but they are not exactly the same thing. We're going to talk about this more in depth in person when we meet next week. Yay, we'll finally meet in person one day. Um, you, however, need to be collecting certain bits of information. I want you to collect the number of positive cases of the coronavirus in the United States, in the state of Georgia, and in the county you live in. If you also want to collect it for DeKalb County, because that's where GMC is located, that's great. I collect those numbers. You're going to need to tell me which county or counties you're collecting the data from. If you want to make it a little more interesting, track some other states. Um, you can look at other countries too if you want to. I've just mostly kept it to the US because, well, that's where I live. I do randomly check some of the other places, other countries where I have friends living. So if you have friends in other countries or family in other countries, feel free to track that too. But I want the number of positive cases per thing that you're collecting. I want the number of deaths per whatever you're collecting. Preferably collected on the same day every week. We are only an eight week course and this is week two, so you're not gonna have a whole lot of collection. Um, I collect my data every single day. So you're welcome to do that as well. In person, in class, I'll talk to you about what we're going to do with all of this, but you need to be collecting the information first. That is huge, important. Then I need you to jot down your basic thoughts, like what you think about it. What did you think about it when it first hit the news? What did you think about it throughout 2020? What do you think now? I want to know the progression of your thoughts on this. like. Do you think it's overblown? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's designed, it was designed in a lab in order to do something? Do you think there's an environmental reason for it? Do you think it's man-made? Do you think it's a conspiracy? Do you think this is just the inevitable reaction to other things? I want to know your thoughts. Straight up your thoughts. You do need to write it grammatically correct, incomplete sentences, and you know some spacing so I can actually read what you write. So that's what you're collecting. So the data for the US, state of Georgia, whatever counties you're picking, and then if you decide to collect for anybody else, that's cool. I will show you um, websites that I use. I'll go ahead and put the links online to make it easy for you. Um, you need to tell me your thought process from when it started to now. And the final part is I want you to give me a prediction. What do you think is going to be taking place by the time you turn in this paper at the end of this quarter? So your actual thoughts, what you're collecting, 
your starting data, that would be helpful, um, and your prediction of what's going to happen. Now, that's pretty much what you need to make sure you have in that overview because that's going to help us have something to look back to. And we will be revisiting this, so I'm not going to just give you this one thing and then leave you stranded. Um, however, where it also says sources, I need to know where you're getting your information. So sources is going to include the websites where you're collecting your data and whatever you think you need to show me that you're actually looking more into the coronavirus and COVID. I want to know where are you getting your information. That's what I need. Wikipedia, not a source. So please do not use Wikipedia for anything ever, ever. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. This overview assignment really shouldn't be difficult, but I wanted to help get you started on everything right away. So, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, please email me. I do respond to them. Just let me know which class you're in because I teach more than one class and already I've gotten a couple of emails of things like, hey, can you tell me about blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, ah, I don't know what class you're talking about. Please inform me. So just tell me. Um, not paper related, but sorry about using previously recorded videos. It takes a lot of time to make and process and post the videos and I will fill you in 100% on Monday the insanity of Moodle and this one class. It's been very, very frustrating. Um, I am working on trying to test something else out because in this class I actually show a lot of documentaries and it's really weird to go two weeks and we still haven't seen anything. But I also didn't want to make it where you had no choice and you had to try to find something to watch. So I am going to test run something to see if I can use Zoom to do a movie that I like to show at the beginning of the quarter and then see if you can watch it. I like to start with the movie Earth from Disney. It's one of my favorite ones to start with because it kind of, you know, sets the pace for the whole class. If you have access to the movie Earth from Disney, whether it's Netflix or Disney Plus or On Demand or whatever, please let me know. If you do not, then that's what I'm going to try to set up. And uh, I really hope you do watch it. So, um, yeah, that's it. How about that? A not super long video from me. Yay! All right. My cat just ran into the door.